Hey, I'm Mark, and today I'm having a little fun with my 22 Marlin. We're going to be shooting uh, three different type of ammunitions at 12 cans of Coke soda. Just see how many it will go through, and uh, I'll try to get some slow motion of it. Also, for the finale, if I have any Coke cans left, we're going to shoot the 3 inch 12 gauge Magnum at it and see what happens. Well, the first shot we're going to be using a 32 grain 1280 feet per second uh, hollow point and we'll see what it does. Well, there's number one, partly over there and partly over here. And it went all the way to number, number five, I believe, is destroyed. And there's bullet fragments. If y'all can see that here and here. So the hollow point definitely exploded, but six. And one was still good. Some of them just got knocked over, but they didn't have a bullet in them. Well, while I was setting up the cans, I found can number five. And you see the hole. It has the bullet in it, what's left of it. So, I thought we'd tear it open and just see what we got here. And there it is. Flattened, missing, pretty rounded, missing some of it that we saw. Well, next, let's do the Stinger. 22 Stinger. It's only uh, 32 grains, so it's a little lighter, but it's a lot faster, 1,640 square uh, feet per second. It's also a hollow point. Well, I got soaked on that one. I'm only about 10 feet away, and the coat got all over me. It only went through to number five, uh, to number four. Number five is totally fine. And I did see parts of this bullet too. I don't know where the main one is. It's not in any of the cans. Well, next, we're gonna do a Winchester, and it's not a hollow point and it's 40 grain. I don't know the velocity, it didn't say, but it's a heavier bullet, not hollow point. Let's see if it'll go all through all of them. Well, I did find the bullet. It's, it was in can number four. It's in two pieces. Actually, three or four pieces. Well, it went through six of them. I'm gonna do that one again, because I believe the bullet is not in can six and the, and the hole came out. I believe it ricocheted off. So let's try that one one more time. Well, I got the same results. The second shot, number six can is still there. And the bullet went right through five and out the other. So it ricochets, hard to get it to stay straight. Well, next for the grand finale, we're going to do the shotgun, but I'm going to have to put the camera a little farther away. I am soaking wet. So is the camera. Move my position. I'm about 12, 15 feet away this time, kind of the edge of a tree. And I've got 14 cans lined up in a row. And then on one side, I have them A1 listed at about can number eight back. Other side is the bees. So let's just see what the shotgun slug would do. Well, can 
pins one through five are gone and I don't know if you can even find the remains of can number one there are pieces little pieces just 20 feet away I'm <clears throat> sure that it ricocheted because here's my angle of projection and I see a notch in that tree over here and I don't know if that was there before or not I don't think it was so it just ricocheted well since we got so many cans left let's do some buckshot Wow, cans went flying everywhere. That's why we use buckshot when we go hunting. Absolutely, totally decimated every can on there. I did find one of the 18 pellets here on the table and the wadding. Well, that was fun. We'll see y'all on our next video. Appreciate y'all watching.